Our other big story on that Tuesday on this Tuesday is the Aquila fire. This one started about 3 p.m. East of the I-17, north of the Carefree Highway, right near Tremento. That's that big subdivision up there north of Carefree Highway. A lot of smoke started right here in the Skunk Creek Wash. Started at 50 acres and then exploded to 1,000 acres, quickly burning up through the Cave Butte Recreation Area, right up the wash. And then these areas in the red, from Desert Hill Drive all the way down to Cloud Drive, from West 27th Avenue East all the way over to 7th Avenue. These folks were evacuated, but we've got an update here at the News at 9 right at the top of the hour. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office said, hey, you folks all here in the red, if you've evacuated, good. Stay evacuated, stay out of your homes. If you have not evacuated, you're in what's called the set mode. You should be prepared overnight. If you hear your phone ring, your smartphone going off, you are should be set to prepare to get out as this fire advances. They believe now they've got the forward progress pretty much stopped now on the Aquila fire at about a thousand acres. Our Kim Powell, she's been up on the fire lines. This is what it looked like on the ground earlier today, and she has an update where a home has now been lost in several sheds. Kim. Yeah, the smoke, we might not be able to see it right now, but we can certainly smell it. And you can see behind me still a very active scene out here. We have some movement going on right now, but I know it's kind of dark, but the Maricopa County Sheriff's Center is also now. Now, originally the fire was believed to be 1,000 acres, but now we're told it's a little less than 900. And like you said, seeing firefighters were able to stop any forward progress. One neighbor said the fire started in a wash just south from where I'm standing and quickly moved its way north and in, into these mountains. Now the Arizona State Forestry said there are multiple points of origin and the cause of the fire is under investigation. For several hours this afternoon there were planes circling the area dropping slurry onto the fire. We've also seen a helicopter make dozens of trips to a nearby water source and then flying off and dousing the flames. More than 200 homes have been evacuated. This affected the Desert Hills neighborhood and the Joy Ranch subdivision. Fire officials say the fire was burning through a wash with heavy vegetation and the winds this afternoon fueled it to spread rapidly. Many people who live in this area line the streets helplessly watching this all unfold including those who had to evacuate. Take a listen. Well, I was trying to get back home um, and she was just trying to grab important things, make sure kids, dog, that kind of thing were safe. And so, that's a little stressful. <laughs> it's a little stressful. So, but you know, now it's, I can tell it's away from our house. So it's just a waiting game. House, another person sent me he took while helping people evacuate. You can see he got really close to the flames there. Now the Red Cross set up an evacuation center at Boulder Creek High School and the Cave Creek Rodeo Grounds is open for animals that were evacuated. Again, one home was lost in this fire and we're told that several secondary structures that includes like sheds and barns, those were also destroyed in this fire. And again, the cause is under investigation. Reporting live, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family. Quick response there by all those fire agencies today. Kim, thanks.